Hi there, we're back in the kitchen today and we're focusing on kitchen utensils. Another fun project, kind of like the spices, where it's something you can get done in a pretty short period of time, depending on how many you have. And you can chunk it up easily. You can do it jar by jar, you can do it drawer by drawer, cabinet by cabinet, whatever suits your needs. So let's get started. Okay, here's what I have in my drawers. Here I have day-to-day -day silverware. I have These are what we use on a day-to-day -day basis. In this drawer, I have things like bottle brushes, a can opener, vegetable brush, juicer, anything like that goes in this drawer. And then this other drawer right here we also use on a day-to-day -day basis is all designated for cutting things. So that's what I have to go through. In this drawer, I have um, tongs, little ones, larger ones. I have brushes used for sauces, and I have some mixing components. Here I have what usually flanks the stove. So I have different things for mixing, for you know scooping and smashing. And then these really sharp things are for like picking up a, a, a whole chicken or something like that, or a roast. And then on this side, I have anything for mixing seen spatulas, mixing spoons, wood ones, plastic ones, and a little baby spatula. So between the drawers and these things, this is pretty much where all of my utensils are. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start pulling things out. I think I'm gonna start with my decluttering here. I have some bins that'll help me with that. The best way to approach this is one, just to make piles on your counter. I'm actually gonna use these containers that I have for a new project, but I haven't used them yet. So I'm gonna use them to help me sort. And I think I'm gonna have two keeps, one toss and maybe one donate. I think that's what I'm gonna do. You can use whatever you want, or like I said, just put it out all, all out on the counter, but I think this will help me keep it a little bit organized. Okay, I've got everything out on the counter. I have all my containers, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the same process for everything. So I'm gonna pick it up and decide very quickly within one to two seconds, what is it, do I want it, do I need it? That was probably just two, three or four minutes max. And look at, I got through all of that already. So this is what I'm tossing. This is what I'm gonna donate because they're still in great shape. And this is what we're keeping. Not too bad for less than five minutes work. So now I'll start on the drawers. And then this is something that my son made me in wood shop. I love it. It's for pushing an oven rack back in or you can hook on it and pull it out. I love this thing so much. I would never part with it. So this is definitely a keeper. That one's gonna stay right here because I don't know what to do with that one yet. So that's one drawer down. Let's take a peek at this next drawers. In a matter of just a couple minutes, that one's emptied out and gone through it all. On to the next one. So my knives I'm keeping, I love this knife block. I will link it in the description um, along with this. This is the best ever um, apple slicer. I'll show you why in a second, but let me take all this stuff out. Okay, so all I have in there is a drawer that does need to be cleaned. Okay, here's what we have. This apple slicer is the best ever. We used to have an older one that just had a few little cutouts, but this one you push it, you put the apple, clean the apple, put it down on a cutting board, push down, you pick it up, and while you're still holding it, you push this through and you push, and then the apples cut and the cores off and they're all into individual pieces. It is the best. So yep, I'm keeping this one. And that's pretty much it for all of my utensils. There's nothing in here except for um, my standard stuff that I need to keep and I've already gone through. Yeah, guys, that's it. Okay, I hope you've been decluttering along with me. If not, you'll plan to do so really soon. It's such a quick project. It took me a matter of 15 minutes to get through 
through all of my utensils. I have four that I still don't know what I'm gonna do with and I will figure that out. I think I'm gonna donate them. I have my toss pile, my donate pile, and then um, now I gotta talk about how I wanna store them. And what's really important in the kitchen is that you think of function because you wanna make sure that you have things near where you wanna use them. And while I like to have my counters cleared, I really do, we put away small appliances and different things like that. I do wanna make sure that some things are handy when we're cooking. So spatulas, different things. If I wanna flip some pancakes, I can easily grab something that I need. That's really important to me, that function. So I will still put these two things near the oven and be able to put certain things that I wanna easily grab in them. And then some of the other things will go back into my drawers. Now, when you think about um, drawer storage, um, there's a lot of options. There's a lot of different wood and plastic options that are either, um, you know, they're, they're set and um, they're not expandable or you can get ones that are expandable to the size of your drawer, which are really nice because you don't want to have any wasted space. And I have one for my silverware and it works really well. There's a small one in the front that doesn't fit too great, but it works. We put the little ones, um, spoons and forks in there and it works great. So I'm happy with that. And then you may have seen, I love the bamboo dividers. They are so easy to work with. You just easily pop them in and out and they also do stay put too. But I love these because you can get them for any length of drawer and it's flexible. If I wanted to completely change where I'm, where I'm storing everything, I can do that right now without having to go to the store and I don't have to spend a lot of money. These are really inexpensive. So I like these even more than some of the other storage containers that you can put in the drawers. Get what works for you. There's, if you have really deep drawers, you can get two tier ones, which is kind of cool because you can put stuff that you don't use as often on bottom and then have the stuff you use most on on, um, more often on top. That's a really cool solution. I'm gonna put these back in and I'm gonna take a um, peek at how I'm gonna put all this back in my drawers. So let's see how it goes. I'm gonna clean them out too. I'm gonna wipe them all out. That's important because some of these things, they just get dirty over time. So I actually, he'll start there first. Before I go and put any of these things away, I think I'm gonna take everything back out that I'm keeping. So I'll get rid of these, I'm not keeping those. And I'll take everything out and kind of organize them back into piles so I have like things together. So I'm gonna do that now. Now I'm gonna to start to put these things away. So let's go. And that one's done. Okay, here's my stragglers. Here's what's remaining. And it's really important that, um, you know, you don't leave stragglers, you gotta deal with them. This is broken. There is another piece that belongs to this. So this is getting tossed. This needs to find a new home. I'm gonna put this with our baking supplies and stuff that we use for baking in the cupboard. And this I've got a spot for. This is going with the barbecue supplies. This I'm gonna get rid of because we just don't use it. So I'm gonna donate that. We don't use this. So I'm gonna also donate this and I don't even know what this is. It looks like it's some sort of spatula or something. I think I am gonna keep it, but it looks like it'd be nice for picking things up. So that's it. Okay, so the sun is out. I'm gonna go enjoy some of the sun. Thanks for joining me today for decluttering. If you wanna see what's up for next week, come here, I'll show you. Come on. Next week, we're doing all things food storage related. So it's a little bit dark in here, but anything like these type of containers, these kind of containers, you have no idea how many I have. There's a whole bunch down here as well as in here. So I wanna go through and declutter those cause I know when I talk to all of you, you say that this is definitely a pain point. Okay, so if you have issues in your kitchen with food storage containers like I do, hit the uh, subscribe button and hit the bell and join me next week. I'll come out with another video on Friday. See you then, bye.